Deep in the mountains of southern Arkansas lies a region so stunning a national park was nearly established. The Little Missouri River forms high in the Washita Mountains and cuts sharply through ancient ridges. It's so pretty. Each passing valley had unique geology, which made navigation tough. Constantly changing river conditions was not something we were used to. Our goal was to travel 20 miles, but the river wasn't going to let that happen. Mother Nature had different plans. Guys, this is seriously one of the toughest rivers I've ever done. In the heat of summer, in this little water, we thought it was going to be fine, but it's far from it. Oh yeah, that burger's going to cook up noise. We just dropped my Jeep off at the midpoint, is we have no clue how long it's going to take us through that first 10 miles. The only overnight parking is really intended for hikers, so to get down to the river, you have to hike a quarter mile down a trail, load your gear up on the kayaks, and then hike another half mile down a creek. Access was tough, but at least it got us on the river. Whoa. <laughs> All the rocks are so slippery, probably because no one's stupid enough to hike down them. It's always funny going from a creek to a river, exponentially more water to actually paddle instead of hike. We set off down a foreign river. Each passing stroke carried us deeper into the unknown. Dude! It wasn't long until we realized there might be a lot of dragging this trip. Hopefully not all of the rapid sections are that bony. Yeah. Guys, that was brutal. That was at least a quarter mile, half mile long slog through rapids. But check out what we have ahead. It means we get to paddle finally. <laughs> it's like a spring right there that plunges right into the river. Bet you so few people see this stuff. Pretty remote. It feels so good. Man, it doesn't get any better than this. Yeah, this is nice. This is the way to do it. This is definitely the way to do it. And now it's time to continue on downriver because the sun is set and we need to find a camp spot. This is incredible, man. Wow. We race darkness trying to find camp, as is tradition. Found the best beach we've seen so far. We're gonna pull over and camp here. That sun is just about gone. What a special spot. We took five and then got to work building camp. The last rays of sunshine bounced off the cliffs above. Night always comes fast down these valleys. There nice, there you go. We built a fire to generate coals for grilling. There's only one issue though. Ryan forgot to pick up supplies until he was out in the boonies. So ballpark franks were all he had, while the rest of us had gourmet cheeseburgers. Look at that. That's just your classic ballpark right there. You know, it's America's greatest. Not the best, but you know. We're here for it. Not as bad as it The rest of the evening was spent by the fire, staring up at the magnificent Milky Way. We were in a dark sky zone, and it was very apparent. The sun's warmth woke us up, revealing the river for the first time in daylight. The contrast between rich blue water, green mountains, and gray bedrock was a sight to see. That is going to be delicious. Charlie got COVID two days before the trip, which was a huge bummer, but he still imparted us with his espresso making tools. RIP Chuck, I miss him out here. Yeah. Yule, you have any parting words for Chuck? Too bad you missed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, it's good. We are just wrapping up here at camp, about to head down river. Looks like a beautiful day, but it is extremely hot and this river is shallow. So we're hoping the hiking will be a minimum, but we've never done this river, so we'll see. All right, beginning of day two, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> This is a pool drop river, meaning these calm bodies of water are separated by rapids that can be short or long. 
All we were noticing is that the rapid sections were basically a guaranteed drag. This didn't bode well for the 20 miles we had planned. The water's pretty low right now, which makes for some complicated navigation of these rapids. I can imagine higher flows, it's pretty technical. This is prime ankle rolling and knee tearing. Ooh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Nasty stuff, man. Man, how pretty is this? Yeah. Oh, that's not working. Any holes springing forth in the bottom of that boat? I hope not. So far, our gear was holding up, which was important because we had a huge set of rapids coming up, arguably the most technical of the trip, and they were serious. This is the winding staircase, a renowned section in the Washita's. Looks a little spicy. That's at least a six foot drop right there. And while I hesitated, you'll charge right for it. Dude, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. oh yeah. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that the biggest rapid the Pelicans ever run? No. No, but she's sure taking on a lot of water. One of the great things about coming to a clean and clear river is being able to filter your water. Save a ton of weight, not hauling jugs. Dang, this is so pretty. The winding staircase. Yeah. Oh. Swimming holes are something we really enjoy on these trips, so it's important to make time for them even when we're running behind, like today. This is so pretty. Phew. The last section of the winding staircase, this is one of the most beautiful sections of river I've paddled. We pushed further into the mountains and really began questioning if we'd even hit the midpoint in three days. We had originally allotted 20 miles, but there was just no way that was gonna happen at this point. Coming to this revelation actually allowed us to relax a little bit and enjoy the rapids we were going down. It was still a slog and there was no time for dilly-dallying, but it felt more manageable. It's nice to get some of these rapids where you can just plunge right through. We need those winds. Oh, this is so sick. And as always, we trust Remote Designs dry bags to keep our gear dry and safe from all the elements on the river. <laughs> and just like that, we're in a Area where the forest kind of covers everything. Tons of fish. Guys, this section is incredible. It's so healthy. It feels like the river characteristics have changed a little bit, which uh, we welcome that. <laughs> yeah, the river's definitely flattened out a lot here, which is huge. Cause that means we might actually be able to cover some ground. There's just enough current to where wind on the water doesn't affect its surface clarity. So you can see right to the bottom in a lot of places. This is by far the healthiest fishery I've ever seen. There's an abundance of every single type of fish in here. Yeah. <laughs> After making some pretty good time, we plunged into one of the sketchiest rapid sections. It just seemed to last forever and it was exhausting. Oh, this is mayhem. <laughs> There was zero chance of kayaking through, and most of it was just spent dragging kayaks over slippery rocks and worrying about injury. Guys, this is seriously one of the toughest rivers I've ever done. 
in the heat of summer in this little water. We thought it was gonna be fine, but it's far from it. The pools have plenty and you can really make up some time there, but the rapid sections, it's like going through a, a cheese grater or something. Just nearly impossible. And the rocks out here are so slippery. We're to keep pushing. We just took a well-deserved break, probably at least 30, 45 minutes. Now we're back on. We need to put in another at least hour because we are not covering the ground that I thought we would be at this point. For now, we paddle and pray for few and far between shallow sections. Woo! We have reached a point in the river where we've escaped the mountains, which was quite the deathly grip. Pretty soon here, we're gonna start looking out for camp. One stroke at a time. We descended into the foothills, and although there was tons of challenging water ahead, we could rest easy knowing that we reached a milestone. Although exhausted, the crew was in great spirits. The day was difficult, it was a little brutal. Ankles took a beating, knees took a beating, great fish, clear water, water flow. There was more to be desired, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I think the beauty of it just uh, makes up for it all. We only covered four miles all day, and I usually wouldn't be proud of such little progress, but there were so many obstacles, and the group persevered through everything. Nearly shattered my chest doing a gainer for you today. Okay, I understand that. The force of the water nearly encaved my heart. Oh! Didn't make it! Close! Didn't make it! What's your take on the day? We weren't kayaking, we were rock slipping. Okay. <laughs> now. Is my balance gonna be 10 out of 10 after this weekend? Yes, it will. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Am I gonna be unstoppable? Yeah. My feet are gonna be callous to absolute stones. <gasps> We're just fortunate to have found a really cool camp. It's nice and flat, good sized rocks, and it should be really conducive towards sleeping well. But right now, we're gonna take it easy, have a little happy hour in the river, stare back at the mountains. And then from there, we start cooking food and spark up a fire and get on with the evening. We had originally planned for three nights of camping and our rations reflected that, but we had to cut the trip short because of river conditions. Yeah. There oh. was just no way we were gonna cover the 20 miles. So tonight was gonna be a feast. We were tossing everything on the grill and going out with a bang. Cook up noise. Oh. Oh. No, I'm good, thank you. We lucked out with clear skies all trip and the final morning was no exception. Another magnificent show. Nothing better. And there we were, right back in the action. Dragging, rapids, heat, everything was getting thrown at us again. At least we were rejuvenated from a night's rest. Well, this is one heck of a way to start the day. One last swimming hole stop to refresh before the final push down river. It's time we finish this thing. All right, here we go.
That midpoint bridge turned into what felt like a finish line, and we were so glad to cross under it. That was awesome. <laughs> Done, brother. Oh, uh, pull me in. This trip <laughs> was wild. And not wild in the way that we thought it was gonna be. Rather, a complete surprise. Oftentimes unpleasant, but overall, so stoked we drove all the way up here to do this river. No man steps in the same river twice, for the river has changed and the man is not the same. We'll be back here. We're gonna look for higher flow. But we will be back. Good to see you again, man. Good to see you. Good trip. Thank you. You hold up. Always a pleasure, buddy. Always, Thank you, man. Thanks for Always. keeping the energy high. Hey, Thank you. Excellent job, brother. Huh? Thank you. Dude, seriously. Like, that yeah. was epic. That was a hard trip, man. You did it. You did it. We're getting stride. Pelican and I are retired from low flow. I'm 30 now. <laughs> Just don't got it in me anymore. That's fine. You. That's fine. That's fine.